Bear Hams here with episode three of my football manager save with FC Cincinnati. Before we get into all the hubbub with the new season and our fast forward of the save, uh, changing the format of this, it will still be once a week, but it will be unedited. So you're going to hear a lot of ums, a lot of ahs, <laughs> and a lot of those, just a lot of stuttering at some points, just because I want to put more time and effort into my other series, and this one's just kind of for fun, and I am having fun, so I, I just want to continue to keep having fun with this. So yes, we are in the new season, season two. And some weird things happened. Before we get into the fact that we are in the first round of the CONCACAF Champions League, even though we didn't win the league, we didn't win the U.S. Open Cup, we didn't win all these other things, for some reason we're in there. And we'll talk about it later. First, we'll talk about what happened dur er, what happened last season. Gosh, this game is so convenient. Just one button, you already have the schedule from last year. Can't do that in FIFA. So where were we at? Oh yes, we beat LAFC in the fourth round. And then had ourselves a crazy ass win streak from there on out. Got to the semifinals before losing in penalty kicks to Houston, who became the eventual champions. And we actually made the MLS playoffs, we got in the wild card, and we lost to New York Red Bulls 5-3. to Which I'm a little relieved, because I was expect I want this series to be a little longer, and if we would have just won the cup there and then, I was like, well, time to wrap things up. Even though I, you know, starting to get used to all these players and watching them grow. Speaking of players, we'll take a look at some of our guys. Steigerwald made some changes. Uh, he is the number seven now, and he is now our captain because he does have the leadership trait of 16, which is miles above everyone else. So he has found himself a starting spot at that winger role. And then Felipe Cantu, good job on him. He was the AT&T MLS Rookie of the Year. And for good reason, he was a shot stopper. He is blowing my mind right now. He already has four-star current ability and could possibly get to four and a half. Just depends on how the team does. Kid's dynamite, what can I say? I'll take a look at his stats quick. Oh, he only had one assist last year? I thought he had more. Oh, well. Anyway, so he did good. I'm trying to think of other players. Uh, we still have a Bucci Bearding, but because we had to get rid of Matt Beasler, he is now a center back, which he's actually not doing too bad of a job at considering that he is under six feet tall, and it's not his natural position. He's actually found himself a spot on this roster, and I'm very proud of him. I was worried that he would become a product of nepotism, but he's proven us wrong. Uh, we still have a bunch of actual players, because this is, again, a youth-based series. We still have Jesse Gonzalez, still have Jimmy Madrana, still have Adi, Carlton, McLaughlin. Who did win goal of the year with an absolute, I don't know how to describe it. It was like from 40 yards out, he saw the goalkeeper off the line and just launched that sucker into the top corner. No problemo. Uh, Ricardo Martinez, we take a look at him as well. He ended it with seven goals on the season. Pretty much his second half production halted because Adi came in. But Ricardo is a solid backup and is a solid player for the future for this side. And considering he only played in 12 games and had 7 goals, that is still crazy 
for a kid of his age, too. And now we'll talk about the players that we did sign this year. Uh, first, we'll just kind of go through the guys that we got from the draft. First is Steve Klenowski. He is a cam already two and a half stars with potential of three to possibly four. That was one thing about this draft. Although we didn't have a breakout player like Felipe Cantu, we have a bunch of two and a half star guys that do have decent potential. Excuse me. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Sorry about that. And Klonofsky is one of them. Good physical stats for his age. Sort of good mental stats. I mean, with his leadership, he could become, you know, co-captain. So we got him at a cam. He'll back up. Wait a minute. Oh, he won't back up El Badawi. We got rid of him. He's at a New England Revolution right now. Who else? Oh, Ross Hernandez. He was the one low point. I don't see much coming out of this guy. Oh, well. <laughs> and then uh, who else? Oh, v Victor Pacheco. This will be our third string striker. Actually, could be backup striker. Just depends on how he does in these first couple years compared to uh, Martinez. Plays the advanced forward role. Already in four games, has scored two goals and an assist. So he's doing okay so far. And then our last guy was Jack Shaw. He was our first round pick. As you can tell, he has a very good potential. The five foot five wing back. It's looking pretty good. Problem is with our team, we have like three or four left backs and right backs, but we only have 20 people on the team. I'm thinking some people might have to move. That'll probably be the best course of action for the upcoming year, considering we're going to have so many games to play. And then the final two additions, uh, Chad Creaser was a guy from our academy, two-star, kind of like the same setup as Ibuchi Bearding, though he has a lot better potential. I'm excited for what the Creaser can do can play that central midfielder role. He also he also dabbles with some CDM play, which is going to be much needed considering the match congestion we're going to have to deal with. Like every helping hand is going to pay dividends in the future. We also got Joaquin Moody. He was on our youth academy last season, but I didn't sign him up in time. I didn't think he was ready enough. So I made a quick deal with New York Red Bulls, got him back, another cam. So Moody and Klonofsky will be working double duty on that. They'll be, uh, I wouldn't even say they're fighting for position at this point. I think both of them are just going to fill that gap throughout the season just to help us out, along with Carlton, might put him in there. And then there's one more guy that we did sign, and that is Herbert Gauchez. Salvadorian striker. Got him from the RSL Academy. I'm kind of wondering why I did, considering he can only play striker. Might have to give him a move to right wing, considering that we do lack depth on the wings. So it's one and a half star, three, four potential. I hope. He'll become an average player in the future. So that is the roster for the season. Of course, there will be more changes. I'm trying to see what other moves we could make. Now that's pretty much it. So I think we're just going to get straight into it. Uh, first of two games. Uh, we're going to play three. Because now we do have time to kind of relax or whatnot. Uh... Yeah, we'll play the first play the first leg, and then we'll play the opener, the MLS, and then we'll play the second leg. Oh boy. 
Oh, it feels so nice to play this game. Yesterday I tried recording an episode of my Northampton Town Save on FIFA. I have never been more bored. I wouldn't say more bored. It's probably the worst hour or so of gameplay I've ever had on that game. Bar none. It was so bad. Like, you would not believe. I think I played three games. Uh, I tied two of them, which were nil-nil, and then the other game was a one-nil defeat. So I thought, okay, maybe I'll just keep playing until I finally score. Three more games later. Still didn't score. And most of those games were nil-nil or one-nil. It was atrocious. It was FIFA 16 levels of bad. All right, done with my rant. We're going to get into this game. So we got Adi up top with Staggerwald and McLaughlin on the wings. We got Moody. I have the Camerol, Madranda, and Creaser. Then we have Garza, Cantu, Bearding, McCrary, and Gonzo in net. Okay, we are away, so I'm not going to tell them to make the fans happy. So I'm just going to tell them we need to win this. Already a chance just 36 seconds in as Creaser from the corner throws it to Madranda and... All right, another corner, so might be a decent chance here. During the preseason, games that I was watching, Creaser is actually really good on set pieces. He did indeed score off of a set piece. So I'm going to get another one. <laughs> I'll just continue to talk about Creaser. Yeah, uh, got a free kick goal, and then... I think he did get an assist off of a corner as well. But she might get one here. He's actually just gonna pass that to Pedro Garza and yeah, not much of a not much of a highlight there. I do have the highlights set on minimum and the speed very fast. So that's why we're gonna probably cruise into the first half without any highlights. Oh, no, they'd have a highlight now. Andrande, back to Farfan. Look for the cross in the box. Easy play for Garza, but it's not going to be entirely cleared out. It's cornered to Samayoa. Tries to get that to Godoy, but McCurry's going to be on that. I think we might have ourselves a counter here. Or not. I don't know. <laughs> That's the problem with commentating football manager is just you're not in control of the players so you don't really have the control of the commentating and like half of the highlight for football manager highlight is them just going back and forth so you just have to wait until something like that happens where Adi hits the crossbar might have a chance from creaser and it will take a deflection So far, so good for the, the blue and orange. Trainer's just going to miss that completely. Maybe a counter opportunity here as Andrande does get past Bearding. Andrande looking for the shot, but easy parry by Gonzalez. Good header, Juarez, maybe a chance. Nope, they're going to go for the cross here. Andrade does have the space and time. But I think that will be another highlight over. Ah. 
No, it's just something to talk about while this game goes on. Will I do more football manager saves? Well, it depends. It depends on how this one goes in terms of quality, in terms of length. Because we might just win the CONCACAF Champions League this year and pretty much finish out the goal that I set out. Or, you know, we kind of finish it out in a couple years and we get done in, like, March or April. My goal for, like, a month's worth of episodes is one month, one season. So we do have two minutes of stoppage time here. Steigerwald with the pass. Moody shoots and scores. Good job. Joaquin Moody, the Chilean attacking midfielder from a great pass by Steigerwald. And we're going to head into the locker room with the lead. And that's an away goal, too. And that will be very helpful. Very, excuse me, very helpful coming back to Nippard Stadium with. Though I think maybe one or two more away goals will really secure our spot into the next round. It's also nice to see uh, our regens coming in clutch. Some goals and an assist. Just gonna be cautious. Got to guard. Can got to guard against complacency here. Might make some moves later in the second half just to keep everybody fresh for that MLS game. God, that would suck in real life. <clears throat> Excuse me, that would suck in real life having to fly all the way down to Guatemala and then two days later have a game in Colorado. I'm just trying to think of players that I would want to save for. I know Felipe Cantu I do want to save. But I think I'm going to take him out in like the 60th minute. Or, it's, wait, don't I have a guy that can play defense? I think it is Fatty Alashi. Take a look at the tactics here. Because if Fatty Alashi, yeah, he can play. I'm, I'm taking Cantu off. Cantu. Cantu needs some rest. Need him playing for that opener. Who else can I slip in? Uh, Pacheco? No, you know what? Moody, we'll keep Moody in. Yeah, we'll keep Moody in. Maybe we'll play Pacheco in the uh, opener. I think other than that, that's all we can really do. So speaking about future football manager saves. This is, I don't know, this is my project one. If all goes well, I'll do more. And I think for football manager 20, instead of doing a, a simple one like FC Cincinnati, I'm thinking of doing a, a National League South or National League North side. And I already have a team picked out, and it looks like they are going to be in that league next year. There's a good shot by Moody, but it will be cleared by Cordon. Uh, I'm looking to do Slough Town. Reason being, I'm a fan of the British office, and it would be funny to have David Brent manage uh, Slough Town. So that's my idea for a uh, football manager 20. I could still do it in football manager 19 as there's another shot off the crossbar by Adi. Jeez, that's already two for him tonight. Oh yeah, we got to make some more subs. Steigerwald's really tired. And we'll put Carlton in. There we go. That'll help out for maybe 20 or so minutes. At this point, I just want to secure the victory, secure that away goal, maybe two. Because we do have a highlight here, McCreary. Does get ball intercepted on Drande. 
tries to get one, but it will be an easy play for Ibuchi Bearding. Now we are on the counter here as Carlton. I believe that was a shot. Wow, that was a shot. That was really bad. I like how they're disinterested. <laughs> That's funny. So we're already in stoppage time. And it looks like we will secure the victory. So we might actually get ourselves a late goal. But that will just go through the entire corner crumble. So after 90 minutes, our Chilean cam gets us the goal in stoppage time. And we're just 90 minutes away of going on to the next round of the CONCACAF Champions League. That's a really good result, too. Playing away from home, out of the country. Well done. Good job, boys. All right, Steigerwald is only injured for one to four days. That's okay. Yeah, we'll give him the, in the injection. We need him to play next game. Oh, yeah, that is his debut, too. That's incredible. Great way to start his career. No, I'm just going to send the assistant. Don't want to don't waste your guys' time with... Uh, Meaningless press conferences. Oh, we got to submit our uh, MLS roster. Uh, that means we are going to have to get rid of Ashani Dyer and Ross Hernandez, which is actually for the better, considering we have so many left backs. So they will go on, I don't know, will they go on waivers? I think they will. Yep, I think that will be the case. And there is a waiver draft. I'm thinking of picking up a couple people in that waiver draft since we are so low on players at the moment. I think it will uh, it'll better our team. Oh, interesting. Yeah, we also got rid of Connor Laid. We got rid of a lot of veterans. Because, again, we're trying to build this team from the ground up with regens. Oh, yeah, we did make a transfer. Uh, we did bring in a player. We brought in a center back since we are lacking in that department. And we also have a crap ton of money that we should probably spend pretty soon. Um, where is he? Oh, it'll be fine. I'll uh, I'll show him when he re when he actually makes the team. I think his name is like Pedro Velasquez. Got him from Deportivo Cali. He has really good upside. He's already a three star at the age of like seventeen, and has the potential to get to four and a half. I think pairing him with Cantu will be for the better. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> I was trying to be nice and compliment you, but no. <laughs> Again, Starkwell can't play for the next game, and we're going to keep him in for the next game. Moody will switch out for Klinovsky. McLaughlin. Oh, Carlton, perfect. Yeah, Jimmy Madran is going to be tired, so Fatty Lashi comes in for him, and I think, oh wow, yeah, that, 
we're that tight here. It's just <laughs> we have very few players can switch out Garza for Jack Shaw. And I think that'll be the team. Actually, you were not going to see the player because his, uh, he arrives on the 9th of March. I should put that into consideration. God, I feel so bad for our players. Not only three games... Wait, I'm going to do the math here. Take a look. So it's a game on the 27th. Game on the 29th, so that's three days. I like in the span of 10 or 11 days, we have four games. They are going to be so tired. So, so tired. So that's why that waiver draft is just going to be so essential for us. Just to, just to give some breathing room for our guys. I do have a feeling as well there will be more uh, regenerated players on that as well. So now here is the start to the 2020? Yep, I believe the 2020 MLS season. So here's Creaser. Gets one in the box. Carlton! Oh, it's just skies it over. That would have been a great way to start. Yeah, Creaser's probably going to be the first person we sub out. He's just going to get really tired. Now it is, I believe it will be Colorado's highlight here. The Kiwi, Tommy Smith to McKenna. To Alexander, to Price. Some build-up here for Colorado as Toyo gets past Bearding, but a good block by Cantu. Hold us off for just a little bit. Oh, hits the post. Good save, Gonzo. Yeah, oh my god, look at that possession. We're just dominating at this point. And now another cross. This will be from Creaser. We'll go to Carlton. Now Carlton. Looking for some options. He'll find Steigerwald. Steigerwald back to Carlton. The wingers pair <coughs> pairing up on the left side. Now Steigerwald looking for a chance to pass, but it will get intercepted. And this might be a counter for the Rapids as Calvert. Gets a pass, but that will be intercepted by Bearding. Oh, Bearding with a beautiful pass. Adi, Adi has passed the Colorado back four. He shoots, and he scores. Another great goal to end the half here. This time it is Fernando Adi with a beautiful pass by Abuchi Bearding. Take a look at the replay here. Wow. That had to have been just a 40-yard, 50-yard pass. Just cuts through the Colorado defense. We're looking good. I think we're going to change the tactics here, considering we don't really have a guy that can play cam. Or we can't, we don't, <laughs> we don't have a guy that can play midfield. I think because Pacheco is healthy, what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep Alashian, but we're gonna we're gonna play with two inside cams. And then we're gonna take Creaser out and put in Pacheco. This will be a four <laughs> they consider it a four one five wide. 
I know for certain our midfielders are going to get overrun, especially when they're playing a 5-3-2. At this point, we're just trying to salvage all of the stamina we can. Here's Kalinowski looking for some options. He'll find Jack Shaw. That's it. <laughs> Got to get better at that. I will in time. Adi gets tackled. Carlton will keep it. Looking for the cross. He'll find Fatty Alashi. Alashi finds Klonofsky. Klonofsky to Steigerwald. There we go. 2-0. 49th minute. Jason Steigerwald got himself an assist in the last game. And now he continues his point streak to start off the season. As Steve Klonofsky in his first start. First, per per first professional game. Gets the assist. We might have this game in the bag. So there is another highlight here. Alan Tamiera, the former New York Red Bull keeper. Poor pass. It goes straight to Alashi now. Pacheco back to Alashi. He'll find Steigerwald. Steigerwald on the wing looking for a cross. He'll float one. Adi. To Klonofsky. Hey, there we go. Steve Klonofsky. What a debut. A goal and an assist. Goodness gracious. 3-0 already against Colorado. Yeah, Starkwald looks really good in the seven. And he's just going to be our captain for the years to come. But why am I talking about him? Steve Klonofsky. Good job. Now it looks like Colorado might have themselves a chance as Bodigan gets a cross in, but that will hit the crossbar as Jesse Gonzalez will continue his clean sheet streak, and now we might have a chance here. Ah, Lashi could have got it, but easy play for Colorado. Now are they going to... All right, he'll continue to be highlight as laid their wing back. Pass it back to Smith. Good header by Cantu, but it will stay with Colorado. Uh, other ideas I have are if... I'm going back to my Slough Town idea. All this. Oh, no. Better not be inside the box. I know, it's so cool that they have VAR in this game. <laughs> it's so funny. So will it be a foul? I think it will be. We'll probably give him the PK. Oh, just free kick. Okay. Good job, Cantu. So another idea I had, if uh, this team does not get promoted to their top league. Uh, I was thinking of doing Dundee United. I have a soft spot for the place. I had a career mode in FIFA 14 with them. I did like a club and country. It's not on YouTube or anything. I just did it, you know, like normal people do. So there's a shot by late and that will go in. So the score will be 3-1. So probably make some tactic changes here. But I'm thinking of doing that team because I had so much fun playing with that team in FIFA 14. Or I have a manager picked out for it. Excited to see where that goes. Um, yeah, we'll play Ricardo Martinez for the uh, second leg. Trying to see who else could be healthy enough to chime in for just a little bit. We'll give Jimmy Badranda... A go, I think we'll save. I don't know. Oh, we got to save the defenseman, that's for sure. Actually, they're doing okay, but I think this might not be the best move in the world, but we are going to take Cantu out. And I think our last move might be we take out uh, Bearding as well. So our defense is really going to suck for the next 30 minutes, and I'm just going to just gonna pray to Jeebus that 
Colorado doesn't make the most of it. And it looks like our really poor back line is doing okay at the moment. Oh, no, no, the last thing we needed. Klinovsky with a slight injury. There you go, good save by Gonzo. What are you going to do? Okay, he's just going to float that up. I hope it's not as bad as I think it could be. Oh, this might be goal number one. Unless... Oh, good play. Good play, Alashi. Oh, of course, these things go on forever. So, yes, Dundee United's one idea. Might do a Premier League team. All right, so there's the second goal. I don't know which Premier League team I do. Or I just do a team just from a completely different league. So I can maybe do in Croatia, Ukraine. One of those smaller countries. Because in FIFA, or not FIFA, but in Football Manager 19, you most certainly can. Oh, there's a long pass. I don't think Adi will get it. Adi tries to get the pass in, but will be challenged by the center back for five minutes left. Again, we're just trying to hold on for dear life here as we're just trying to avoid as many injuries as possible. There's a cross in the box. Easy clearance. Alashi will get it back. Alashi to Staggerwald looking for another cross. Gets it to Alashi. Alashi tries to turn and get it, but it will be cleared aside. All right, something better happened in this highlight. Okay, fine. Be that way. <laughs> all right, now they're giving Colorado all the chances in the world for an equalizer, and they might just get it. There's a cross in the box. Oh, okay. I think that'll pretty much be it for the game after that foul. Yep, there we go. Second straight victory to start off the season. Debut goal by Klinovsky with an assist. Steigerwald gets on the board as well as Fernando Adi. Again, we're just we're just killing it right now. Of course it was a good win. What else could it be? Alright, only out for one to two days, not too bad, and we're not even gonna play them in the Second leg. Wait, Leighton Baines. Oh, okay. He's playing for Orlando City. Interesting. Where is he playing now? I don't see him playing for Everton. Or I'm just not paying attention. We don't have one because <laughs> we can't find one. <laughs> All right, let's see if there's any solid regens out of here. It doesn't look... Oh, wait, come back. Ah, we had something fesh. Aw, Jerry Tison. As a United fan, I am kind of sad that he's leaving, but he just did not perform this season. Oh, okay, I'll keep scouting you, Paul, right? Miguel Ibarra. I would totally sign all these players. Oh, that might be my next one, too. I might do a Minnesota United career mode. 
make the moves that I want to make, not the stupid ones they are making right now. As oh my goodness, they are just they're just destroying right now. Wow. This actually could be a guy worth signing. <laughs> he counts as an international. How many internationals do we have? Zero. <laughs> uh, I'll keep scouting him. I know this is regen based, but we are still trying to maintain a shape of this side. It would take a while for him to get signed up, so we wouldn't be able to play the uh, CONCACAF game. Plus, our team's already registered. Oh, I was like, only 20 fans? What? But 38,000, that's a stellar squad of fans to be cheering for us. Ooh, okay. Could sign Calvo. Wouldn't mind sound I would not mind signing Calvo to be honest with you. Oh, I forgot. We're going to have to play Mexican teams. God, they're just going to destroy us. It's not going to be pretty. Especially if we go against Club America. we got to go to the Estadio Azteca. That is just going to be one miserable evening. As Frank Reynolds would say, it would be like lambs to the slaughter. Now we're gonna put we're gonna put Martinez in there. Uh, Jimmy Madranda. We'll have him play. Hmm. I will play midfield. We'll give Chad Creaser a break. Uh, who else can we slip? Oh, Pedro Garza. Yeah, he'll be our uh, CONCACAF wing back. Bucci Bearding on a yellow. Troy McCrary will keep the same. Oh, we got to get Klinovsky out there. We'll put... Ooh, do we put... Pacheco or Moody? Uh, we'll put in, we'll put in Pacheco. He's ready for it. So that will be our squad. We'll continue to keep Gonzo in. I mean, he's not going to get tired. So before the game, we will actually have the draft. Most teams don't even pick in this draft anyways. So we'll take a look at who we got here. The youngest. Do have some young bucks in here. Wondering if any of them are good. Yeah, I do have the cheat engine. Not the cheat engine, but the in-game editor. I don't edit them at all. I just... All right, he's not bad, Ian Clark. Um... I only look at this because we just don't have the scouting report on him. Chad Mason. I honestly think we'll just get the right back guy. Uh, who was it? Yes, Ian Clark. We'll draft Ian Clark. Hmm. 
was Arnie Fo Forster? This guy probably has some Swedish in his blood. Oh, wait, why, why would I say... God, I'm an idiot. Please don't quote me on that. All these German, he'd fit right into Cincinnati and their, their German culture. Wait, what were his stats again? Oh, 105. Ugh. Don't know if that's good enough. Oh, boy, we should sign this guy next. Yep, sign of this dude next, that's for sure. Jeremy Brown's going to be on the team next. That's actually going to be a solid pick. That might be a steal, boys. Oh, it's only two. All right, their overalls might not say much, but I mean, that's still pretty decent. Three and a half star potential. And again, we still, we need backups. So we'll sign these guys squad numbers. Uh, we'll give both of them double digits. Clark 22 and Brown. Ah, uh, we'll give Brown five. So we are going to register them for the CONCACAF fixture. I mean, we could just put Jeremy Brown in right away, even though he doesn't know the system too much. Yes, Scout, David Scott. I don't care about any of you guys. Then what we'll do is we'll keep them on the bench. And I think if we do secure a solid lead, we'll put them in later. So I'm thinking we can put... I'm going to keep Adi on there. Who's the guy we don't... Yeah, we'll take off Moody. And Clark. We're not going to need David Black anyways. So I think that will be our team. All right. Will we go on to the second round? Just have to wait and see. Oh, boy. Uh, it's got to stretch a little bit. So, so far, so good. We got ourselves a chance. Carlton floats one in. Oh, hits the post. That would have that been a beautiful curler. So now there will be another highlight. Carlton does get the interception. He'll find Alashi. Fatty Alashi. Get it to McCrary. McCrary. Back to Alashi. 
Now Pacheco finding some space, still finding space. Garza will get the ball back now. Alashi. Don't know what he was trying to do there, but looks he tried to take a shot. Uh, not the best idea. So we will have a corner now. Dranda just kind of scorches it all over. Now Garza finds Pacheco. Pacheco to Madranda. Madranda. Oh, man. We got to stop taking these long-ass shots. <laughs> None of them are sticking. We can, we can break down this Guatemalan defense. It's now Sandoval. Launches one in easy play for McCrary. And now Carlton to Madranda. Steigerwald. Captain Steigerwald. Looking for some options. He'll find Alashi in the center. Now to Pacheco. Pacheco to Madranda. Just don't shoot it. Don't shoot it. Okay, good. Now Carlton. There we go. Good play. Ricardo Martinez gets us on the board. And although two goals from Guatemala will get them through, we do have the two-goal advantage at the moment. Just good heads-up play by Martinez on his part, just seeing that rebound and capitalizing. That's his first goal of the season. Well, it's his first start, too. There's another chance here. Is Carlton. Ah, oh, can't he try to get his head on it, but just goes right over Bonilla's head. Another chance for us here is Pedro Garza to Steigerwald, who is on a yellow. Should probably watch out for that. Now Carlton. All right, we'll take that. Looks like an own goal. Andres Harate. <laughs> just probably, I don't know what happened to him, but it just, <laughs> it's probably ricocheted right off his shoulder or something. So we'll be heading into halftime with the 2-0 lead and a 3-0 lead on aggregate. I think going to the dressing room here, it will be time to introduce Jeremy Brown. Now we'll look at the tactics to get a better idea of who we should take out. Uh, well, I mean, stamina-wise, they're doing fine. It's just for the better. I would rather keep Felipe Cantu safe for the future because he's pretty much our stud on defense. Mm. Yeah, we'll keep Fatty Lashi safe, too. And then maybe one more addition. And we're going to put Jack Shaw in for, uh, you know what, everyone's doing okay so far. Actually, you know what, hold on, let's drop him. Uh, we'll put McLaughlin in for Carlton. That's a guy we need to save up for future games as well. So now they'll just need to score three goals in order to advance. And based on the stats, I don't see him doing that at all. So we're just sitting pretty at the moment. As we should be. This is not the most talented team in the world. Here's a cross in the box. Staggerwald will get the rebound back to Creaser. Creaser sort of gets a cross in, gets to Garza, now Pacheco to McLaughlin. Ah, chance was squandered, but we will get another one now as Garza. Quick pass to Creaser, back to Garza. 
great pass to Steigerwald, but couldn't do much with that. So back to Garza it goes. Now Steigerwald. He'll lose it, but it will stay with us. Madranda takes a shot. That's blocked. I just feel bad for this Guatemala side. Just <laughs> There's a wide open. There we go. Wide open Steigerwald. He gets his second goal. And the captain coming in clutch. And this game's pretty much over at this point. And we're just pouring it on. Just nice to pad the stats. So we might continue to do that. McLaughlin floats a curler in. Brown with the header. Oh, everyone's going around. Oh, must have been a foul. Yeah, look at that. 19 shots to two. <laughs> with 75 possession. If I were the if I were a municipal, I would have just rage quit at this point. It's like we get it. I want to go back home. As so Madranda puts that one in, crease around the assist. Now it's four nil. Yeah, it's crazy too. Got about forty some thousand fans. Compared to Guatemala, they only had like, I think, nine or 10,000. I'm probably wrong. But now it's just hoping that none of our guys get injured. I think I might switch up the tactics here. Let's, uh, yes, let's time waste, please. I mean, we have the possession already. We might as well just back and forth, back and forth. Just try to slow this game down. Call her good. Maybe one more highlight here. Sargwald gets intercepted. Will be intercepted back. Good job, Chad Creaser. So Brown will get the bottom of Dranda. Now Creaser to McLaughlin. Jimmy McLaughlin, one of the heroes the U.S. Open Cup a couple of years ago in real life, getting that uh, penalty kick goal against Chicago Fire. So we might have another chance, or they're just going to let this kind of roll out to the end. Gar's on the wing. Gets a good pass to Madranda. Madranda looking for a second goal, but that will be off target and over the bar. So I think at this point, the Guatemala goalkeeper is trying to waste time too. So we got seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and done. So a solid performance and a solid three games for the blue and orange to start off the season. Of course, that was a good win. No question about it. Now I got to figure out when the, the draw is. If there is a draw. Um, oh, interesting. So we will get the Canadian side at Montreal Impact. wonder how they're doing or how they've been. So they've... Oh, okay, those are the CONCACAF games. They have Mike Cone. That's incredible. The former... Is there Roma? Oh, okay, completely different my cone. Okay, never mind. Thought they had the the one that played for Roma, I believe. But I this we could beat this team. I'm fairly confident in that. So I think after all that, it's a pretty solid episode. Three wins. On to the next round of the CONCACAF Champions League. And we're undefeated in the MLS. So this will be the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I did playing it. This has been Bearhams. And as always, toodaloo.